What is going on everybody, welcome back to Civilization 5 as the Songhai on this TSL Old World game. Obviously the New World is available to us as I've mentioned. Um, I don't know, is it available yet? I think, yeah, I think we can now start to send settlers that way, so I'll try and build some soon. I think it's going to be a race, there's no barbarians to worry about, so we can just send them off, and as long as no one we're at war with is out there, we should be good um, to go and grab some cities in South America. Go find what we can. So yeah, I've just got one more caravel on the way, but we're beginning to get a better understanding of the situation, having a look around the Atlantic, seeing who's in there already. We've held off the Garamantes pretty well, hopefully no one else attacks me, but we are at war with a few people at the moment, so hopefully it doesn't get too bad. But yeah, this has gone pretty well. Oh, we can upgrade our bowmen, so let's do that. Just give us an even more of a good advantage here. Nice, right, is there any buildings that need to be decided on? Okay, no, we're gonna get a few in the next turn. This, well, that's not been annexed, but one turn, two turns, four turns, actually. Okay, I'm gonna annex this city. Five, there we go. From now on I can pick pick the productions. Hopefully we get some better stuff. But yeah, one, two, and four turns. Uh yep, yeah, that's fine. There we go. Peace out with Rome. It's the end of that one. We're still war with the Zulu and the Garamantes. Um I'm not sure if I'm gonna conquer the Garamantes. I'm tempted, but I, I don't know if I could actually do it. I'm not sure how strong they are. I'm not gonna give you seventeen gold per turn just for free. I know I know you'd like that, but sorry. Uh, the Zulu will give me 17 gold per turn though, which I could have used to pay off the other piece deal um, But no, I'll <laughs> pay off Morocco. But yeah, I'll take the Zulu's money I, I don't know why they offered that, but there you go. No, no wonder they offer you cities sometimes. Maybe Maybe I should try to take advantage of the AI's willingness to uh, offer up some cities All right, where is this ironworks? It's not it's not the capital is it? I'm so confused. <laughs> what city is this? Courthouse. What, why would you switch? This doesn't make sense. Oxford University. Oh, I need a university in this city now. That's why. Damn it. <laughs> okay, seven turns. I think they're... How much do I need to buy? Probably a lot more. 480. Okay, I'll buy one next turn. So don't worry. We will build... Uh, I'm trying not to get confused here. Right, you build a settler. This city builds... Okay, there's a lot of things it could have done with the monument. Start with the courthouse. Uh, there's two. I'm gonna hope the bottom one works. <laughs> I'm sure one of them will work. All right, this caravel is gonna go this way, and then yeah, we'll buy the university in Nyeni and go back. And then Gao does not need a courthouse. Two turns is what it's gonna take. No, sorry, one turn. Just quickly get a garden while we wait, but that's fine. And then we'll get the university, Oxford University again, ASAP before we send any settlers and slow everything down quite a bit. There we go, we're getting a much better view of the map. I'm kind of tempted just to eke forward a little bit more, see if we can spot anything. They still have some units in the in the vicinity. I'm not too bothered. Negotiate peace. There's no time for peace. Wow. It's a surprise. That looks like Portugal's in the lead. I don't know where we are. We look like we're in the middle pack of that. That is just score. Not particularly a huge one. We're not even in the top 10. Anymore, as we've met 24 sieves, although Mali's dead. Songhai here, where are the Garamantes? We are now well above them, but yeah, we're about a third more than them. I don't want to overcommit just yet. We'll, we'll think about what we can do. Oh, that, was, that helped. Okay. Yeah, but we'll consider pushing a little bit closer, see what we can do. If I can keep expanding at home, that's good as well. Open borders with Egypt, yeah, sure. We're good friends. Egypt is, oh yeah. Athens and Thebes are about to fall. I have no idea who to, but I'll watch and just see if we can figure it out. We're making 118 gold per turn. That is very nice. Hello, Siam. Don't know where we've met you, but good to meet you. Another one. Another view on the map. There we go. The city of Sukote. Oh, the Zulu managed to settle in the Arabian Peninsula. I told you the AIs are less aggressive, going to be less aggressive. Although aggressive and expansive mod is on. It isn't deity, so it's not going to be as bad. In the AI only battle, there is going to be more gaps and it's going to take longer, which is good news for me. Oh, Nigeria, all of a sudden. Good job we became friends with them. They might end up being our biggest rival here. They just conquered Thebes, and that is a huge victory for them, considering, you know, they didn't start particularly well. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, what's happened here? What happened to the farm? It's only half built. Uh, you. Oh, these crossbowmen doing some amazing damage. Sadly, I can't move into that tile because it will put me in range of the city, but it's always... Uh, hang on, let's see if we can try and... 
prod around the sides with these bowmen. Yeah, let's see where we can get... Okay, that was too close. Damn it. Okay, move forward one. There we go, kill them. Okay, let's go for this. Nigeria just took a huge city. We probably need to respond. We've got a great general there. Citadel is going to explore the coast for us. Uh, Citadel. Caravel. Grab a second settler to send out. This is our biggest city, and yeah, that one's pretty big too, so that's fine to have them slowed for growth. I didn't buy the university immediately, but it's fine. We're waiting for this garden to be finished anyway, so it's not not a catastrophe. We waited one extra turn, just means we'll get the garden done. Which will hopefully get us some more great people down the line, hopefully. And there is the Netherlands, another another nation we have met, so hello. Obviously, probably not doing as well in this one as the AO only battle. Just because France is here, and it looks like France is doing pretty good. Right, Copper, you'll give me 6 gold per turn. You're already giving me 17, are you sure? He won't give me the 7, but there we go. Happiness is down to 4. Uh, no, South Africa. I I've become friends with too many people. <laughs> we need to we need to slow it down a little bit. But there we go. Are some Britain's caravels exploring? At the same time, pretty interesting. There's the Congo. Right, great general here. Is there any resources we could steal? I don't really want to annoy Nigeria. We already have spices. I guess we can put it here and like steal Morocco's cotton. If I wanted to put a citadel down, that'd be quite mean. But probably what we need, considering our happiness is fairly low. Some extra luxuries wouldn't go, wouldn't be missed, I guess. All right, let's try and get into position here. There we go. That did a good not so good amount of damage to the city but i'm trying there we go you guys get stuck in that's the best way overwhelm them then they can't do much damage back to you right gal you should be able to oh you can't quite finish that university yet let me just quickly come in here purchase university back over here there we go finish that up grant us some extra science Greece has lost their capital, and that falls to Egypt, so that's obviously Egypt, so we're not defending Athen Thebes and conquered Athens instead, a bit of a random occurrence, but there you go, looks like Greece aren't having a good game in this one either, looks like Rome doing much better. France versus Arabia, no, Siam Arabia, no, no, okay, I'm just seeing if there's anything interesting, Himeji Castle for the Zulu, we'll see, now this will expose us to Carthage, and we do lose one bowman, sadly, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Here we go. I'm finding the coast, trying to spot where the good good spots are, looking for those places where we can maybe get two luxuries at the same time. Oh, they just pumped out another bowman. That is not what we wanted to see. As we just chip away very slowly at that city. I'm gonna try kill their bowman if I can. Okay, it can be automated now. Caravel, keep coming around. Nice, okay. Wait, is this another great general or the same one? It is the same one. Okay. Oh, there's a scout where we were going to stand, that's why. Okay, hopefully this might be the turn. I'm not sure. Hopefully they don't kill another unit. They do have three bowmen, which is a bit awkward. That's probably enough to kill a unit if they wanted to. We should be able to kill one back, at least. Do -do -do -do. We'll find out very soon, either way. But yeah, I think capturing this and then maybe rebuilding our army a bit is the way to go. They've asked for it. Yes, if we don't do it, someone else is, right? Carthage isn't going to leave them forever. Nigeria is probably not looking at them now. So we may as well get in there. Oh, another bowman. That's frustrating. We'll, we'll live with it. We'll, we'll, we'll cope. Right, first settlers arrived. It's recommending over here. We already have spices, but there is cocoa to the north. There's cocoa and sugar up here. Do we have those? We have sugar. We would have cocoa. Damn it. Um, is there any other spots with other? There's iron. That'd be quite useful. There's pearls down here. But less of other things. Um, hmm. There's wine here, which I think we also could benefit from. Yep. Yeah, I think we'll go down here first. More south. Lisbon. There we go. Caravel. Keep exploring. Uh, I'm going to try to send this one into the Baltic Sea. I don't know if it'll be able to get in there, but there's a chance. We can have a look around. See what's going on. All right. Barrage against cities. Oh, you can take that as well. Oh, we're so close. It's in the red. All right, kill that bowman. Oh, that pikeman might be screwed now. Never mind. We're gonna, we're gonna take some losses, but it's fine. We will rebuild. I'll get some units on the way. All right, go into that tile. We'll also be stealing. What will we be stealing? We'll be stealing the casbah, some extra desert tiles, cotton resource. See, so yeah, all around pretty good. 
I don't know if we have open borders with Morocco still, if I really wanted to push it. <laughs> Maybe try and push in here, just grab this tile. I don't think I can get that one actually. It needs to be bordering me. If I'm not mistaken. Or maybe at least one away, so that it would be bordering me afterwards. Okay, we survived that without losing any units that turn, so that's good. Right, yeah, let's slap down a citadel. Boom, there we go. He is not happy, but there you go. You can't keep everyone happy. Is that the bottom of the map? Oh, looks like maybe we can't get around South Africa. Okay, sorry, France. Can you move, please? Try to get around. <laughs> All right, hopefully. Okay, they seem to have found a ton of units somewhere. Just laying around, so hopefully, there we go, that is them eliminated, we don't have to worry about that now. Let's go for the straight annexation, and yeah, now we need to start rebuilding a little bit of our military capability. Bank printing press is available, let's get this just in case we do manage to be the first and we do get to found the World's Congress. Seems unlikely, but yeah, let's, it could happen, it could be worth it. Right, copper for ivory, yeah, I'll take that trade. There we go, more luxuries. Keeping the happiness, <laughs> happiness goes up after conquering a city. That's pretty rare. But there we go, another capital. So everyone's going to hate us, so we probably need to chill out a little bit on the conquering. But there we go, that looks a lot better. Keeping up with Nigeria as well, who are doing quite a lot of their own expansion. There we go, a denouncement from Morocco, as you'd probably expect. Since we, if we did them a little bit dirty. Congo, yeah, there's going to be a lot of denouncements coming in now. Which is a bit harsh. The Garamantes actually declared war on me, if you remember. So, um, that does seem a bit harsh. But our settlers are on the way to their new locations. So that's good. And yeah, I just need to watch out. I think Carthage and Morocco potentially is sort of the possible people that might invade us. Okay, so we can't go around this way unless actually, hang on, trade. There we go, perfect. I always forget open borders are a feature for some reason. Artist Guild. Um, okay, I need to get a few more units. We did lose quite a few. So let's quickly quickly add some more, more units, one for each city, and that will rebuild our numbers a bit, make, us, make our army look a bit more healthy. No. Just pay the regular price, none of this complex stuff. There we go. Hundred oh we have a thousand gold nearly. So I'm probably buy some units or some buildings. Or maybe a third settler for the new world. If we can get here early enough, then it's gonna be fantastic. I really that looks like a good silver, iron. Oh, so there's nothing else around here. There is obviously some wonders deeper in the in the forest. There's El Dorado, Chero de Potosi is in there as well, the mountain. So yeah, maybe getting those for some culture and extra gold would be a good move. Okay, we're not going to get too far up here unless the Dutch give me open borders. Trade. Do I open our borders? There we go. Thank you. Policy. One happiness. There we go. This should... Extra three happiness. Yeah, that's not bad. And we find the Chiro de Potosi wonder. So there we go. At least we know where that is. That's another extra one happiness. So we're getting up there. We've got two settlers, we're going to be the first probably in the new world. I've not got a good look at North America, but this should be good. And we're still meeting people, so maybe we can found the World's Congress. That would be a nice little extra, be the first host. So we meet Korea, who is still here. Mongolia is still here as well. Obviously as we meet more, once we've met everyone, I'll try and do a little look at the info addicts. I know it's maybe considered cheating, but you know, just for a bit of fun. It's more fun. Just see where we are compared to everyone else. Um, technologies is the good. We were doing so well, and it's all fallen apart since we've started to meet everybody. Which sucks, but there we go. We're heading for the Amazon, and South America will hopefully be mostly mine. Probably not. I'm sure the Congo and Nigeria will be coming out this way at some point. The Europeans have all found it. I'm sure hopefully they will contribute as well in having a bit of a colonial race, a bit of fun. Right through the Dutch territory to get a better look at Europe. Got some extra units now coming through. Trebuchet is done. I'm going to move these towards Morocco just in case they attack us. Right, where is this? This is the capital. The mint would give us that two gold. It's still not really... Okay, let's get an amphitheater. City of Gien. I need another worker. Like We are probably going to need a few. And then let's purchase a settler for 370. I'm tempted to buy one more settler. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go for it. And then capital, we will buy a crossbowman. There we go, that's most of our money burnt through, but we do get some units out of it, so that's all around. P 
pretty good. Truffles, we do have two of those. But you will have to pay seven. There we go, perfect. Keep that money flowing in to the Songhai Empire. Definitely probably the richest it's saving the way. Yep, GMP, we lead the way. One, five, five, one on approval as well. Happiness, we're leading the way. Literacy, 11th. Soldiers, 19th. But Portugal's a little scary. Um, but yeah, we're doing all around pretty well. A few top, top level, you know, crop yield, we're doing good. Which should lead to better population eventually. And manufactured goods, we're doing well as well. And obviously, if we are going to start to colonize, that should help. Okay, I think the Jar will be changing their name. They are in this game. Or the World's Congress will be being founded. Don't worry, it's not going to crash. There shouldn't be any reason for it to. Um, yeah, there we go. The World's Congress is founded. Sadly, we weren't the founders by the look of it. But there we go. We will now get to make embassies with every other civ. So maybe it'll be a good time. Turn 150 as well. To look at the info addicts next time around. But yeah, we can see who's still alive. Get an idea. Even a faint idea. Just looking through the borders at who's big, who isn't. Japan. There we go. I think that's probably everyone. Oh, no. Yep. Uh, oh, no. There's the Jar. I don't know if there's anyone else after this. I think we might, maybe some Europeans. No, nope, that's it. And we also discover Mount Fuji. And oh, it skips straight to the next era. Wow. World's Congress. Here we go. So there we go. Carthage managed to found it. We have now got embassies with everyone. Russia and the Huns are still alive. Mongolia is still here. The Jar. China is still sort of around, not in Beijing. Korea's in the mainland. There you go. Discovering lots of new things. Don't need a harbor. What does a harbor actually do apart from the city connection? Sea trade routes have a 50% increase in range and extra gold. We actually do have sea trade routes from the city, so that seems like a good deal. Just go and find, go near the Chero de Potosi. I don't know if it's actually going to be where we end up settling, but just go near it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, swordsman, yeah, come up this way. Who needs orders? All right, you, yeah, just come over here. Keep our eye on Morocco. Another settler. This one will just sort of go deep into the rain. I said I wanted pearls. Let's get the Panama Canal. It's a, it's, it, we've got to have it, right? It is always something I go for when I have the opportunity. It's just fun, fun to have. But that'll be it for this episode. So as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.